Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so today, before I get started on the actual painting, I wanna show you guys some fun stuff I've been working on. But first, I'm gonna show you the dried results of the last video of my simple yet elegant two color pour. Um, so it is dry and here it is. It dried absolutely perfectly. It did not move at all. And look at all the shimmer in it. Look at that. I am so pleased with this piece. Look at that. There is a definite a lot of shimmer in this. I'm really happy with this piece. It's going to get a top coat of crystal resin and it will bring out the colors even more and bring the shimmer out even more. So this piece here is an 18 by 24 inch canvas and it is available for purchase for anyone who is interested in this piece. Look at that center right there. Look how it glows. So um, I had a few comments in my last video uh, on that video and people were like, oh, you said Pearl by Arteza, but isn't the Pearl White by Amsterdam? It's both. Um, so Arteza has a pearl white and so does Amsterdam. In that video, I used pearl white by Arteza. Um, I don't know why I used pearl white and not just used pearl white by Amsterdam instead of the Arteza. I don't know why I did that, but it's pearl white. I like, I mean, um, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't make a mistake. It was Pearl White by Arteza. Um, but I do have uh, Pearl White by, where is it? No, nope. actually, I'm going to need these. <laughs> um, yeah. Anywho, there's Pearl White by Amsterdam as well. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is I got the coolest silicone mold from Loli Vefi the other day. It is uh, this huge octopus mold, uh, super neat. So I, as soon as I got it, I had to try it. And uh, I used casting resin in this from Crystal Resin. So there's two different kinds. There's your tabletop resin. Hold on, I'll show you. There is your tabletop resin. So part A and part B resin and hardener. Um, but that's not what I used. I used casting resin, which is this. So um, this is what I used. It's the crystal resin, casting resin. So that's what I used um, in that silicone mold. Um, they are currently sold out of casting resin, but they are getting more in, in a couple of weeks, I hope. So just if you're looking for casting resin on their website, you will not find it right now. Um, there is some coming. Um, anywho, so I wanted to show you guys how my octopus turned out. Check this out. Look at this. How cool is this guy? So I used metallic pigments from Let's Resin and he's black on the back, but look how neat. I made his eyes gold and his big head is like a nice purple, metallic purple. And then I alternated his uh, legs. How cool is that? Super cute. But do you notice what I just did? I just noticed my mistake. <laughs> this should have been blue and this should have been green. Um, but any, I just noticed that as I was looking at it, but I, th I still think it looks cool. So he's pretty big. Um, he's, I don't know, I should measure him. But if anyone is interested in this super cool octopus, um, it is for sale and you can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com uh, for this. And another thing I've been working on is um, you guys all remember my pretty um, coasters that I was doing. And you guys, I, I will do a tutorial, um, but I made some new ones um, in black, black and gold. And I used my washi tape. I have, uh, it's really pretty. It's feathers and moons washi tape so i have uh, a set of four look at this one's pretty it's got like a purple flower um purple uh feather in it and then this one so that is a set of four black coasters but then i use the exact same washi tape but in white and made these ones so these clear ones 
So I've got four of these as well. So if anyone is interested, look at that. If anyone is interested in these four white coasters or the black coasters, or I made these out of my MDF or my hardboard rounds, I need to still add the cork backing, but I'm working on a special project. I'm gonna show you guys when it's done, but it's top secret for now. But I had leftover resin from it yesterday, so I decided not to waste the resin and use it on coasters. So check these out. So I've got four of these with these uh, beautiful colors in here. So if anyone is interested in this set of four black coasters, uh, you can or anything you just saw that I showed you. If you are interested in purchasing, you can email me at canalasoraco at gmail.com. All right, so I'm gonna put this stuff all away so I don't mess it up or get it dirty. I'm gonna set myself up, I'm gonna bring you guys down and we're gonna get started. I am working with Pearl Paints by, our by Amsterdam today and it's gonna be a very nice one with a blue background. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So before I get started, I forgot to mention the um, uh, octopus silicone mold. As I mentioned, you can find on Loli Veffy's website and you can save an extra 10% off using code Canela10. But just keep in mind, they have very, very few quantity, uh, limited quantities left. They actually don't have much. So if it's something you're interested in, Get it while you can because that's all they've got. They don't have many. Um, so just wanted to mention that really quickly. All right, so I am working on a 20 inch round. Um, I wish it was, oh, I wanted to show you. So I did resin that other round that I got from Bijan Art Studio. You remember how I told you how I loved that it had the edges and they were really easy and crisp and the back, you see the back? So my back is so clean, um, but you see how there's no um, canvas around the bottom and it's not stapled into the wood. This is why I really, really like these. Um, and it, it ended up being perfect. Look at the resin turned out perfect. Here's the piece. You'll see all the glare with all the resin, but I really, really, really like these. They turned out really well, um, but I only had one, so. Um, I have to go back and get more, but I do have these ones that are from HomeSense for those of you here in Canada. Um, but what I don't like about them is they're a real pain to tape. And as you can see, um, it's got the um, canvas on the back here flipped over and then it's stapled, right? So I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, and then you see all the ridges, right? You see that? It's this. I hate that. I hate, hate, hate that. I don't like that. But that's what happens when they flip the canvas over, right? On a round. So um, that's why I like the ones from Bijan better. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And these are a real pain to tape on the bottom too. Oh my goodness, are they ever a pain. Now I gotta make sure I put those back on those popsicle sticks. Let me see. Make sure it's still level. Okay, perfect. All right, so yeah, that's why um, I'm not really a fan of these canvases, um, but they still are okay. Um, but now that I know that Bijan has those ones, I'm definitely gonna be getting those. All right, so the base color I'm going to be using today is not black. It's going to be um, Prussian Blue Thalo by Amsterdam. So I'm using this. And I've mixed it all up here in this big cup um, that's like full to the brim. Um, so yeah, so that is mixed with a water and full trout. Now it really does look black and I will warn you right now, it will dry a lot darker. So all paints always dry darker. So this will dry and probably look almost black, but then when I'm sure once you put it in the sunlight or in light, it'll look um, a little blue. But even if it does dry black, I'll be okay with that because I am using my pearl paints by Amsterdam. So I've used pearl blue, the red, the green, the violet. I have not used pearl yellow yet. So I thought what a great time to use it against this blue base. So I'm going to use 
Pearl Violet by Amsterdam. Then I have Pearl Yellow by Amsterdam and Pearl Blue by Amsterdam. So three pearls and in between each, I'm going to add the base color, which is the Prussian Blue Thalo by Amsterdam. So in between each layer, I'm gonna add a, a line of blue. So that is what I'm gonna do and we'll see how it turns out. So I am going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, my canvas is flooded. The bubbles have been popped. So I'm going to be doing, um, I haven't really thought about the composition, but something simple because it's only a 20 inch round. So I think I'm just going to do a really nice, um, let's just do it instead of talking about it. Why don't I just do it? Let's see here. Don't forget while I'm doing this, um, I know a lot of you keep hearing the same thing, but if you are interested in the workshop, Tammy Anderson and I are doing in Naples, Florida this July. Um, it is going to be an amazing time. And if you are interested, you can email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com. And speaking of Tammy, I want to say congratulations to Tammy. Uh, about a couple of days ago, weeks, a week or so ago, she hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I could not be more proud and happy for my friend. Tammy, congratulations, you deserve it. Um, so just wanted to wish her that. And if you don't know who Tammy is, go and check her out. I'll link her YouTube channel up here. Uh, she is a lovely, lovely person. And we're gonna be doing that uh, workshop together in Florida. And like I said, if you're interested, there's only a few spots left and that's it. We are then sold out. So keep that in mind. Um, there's going to be some fun goodies and lots of sponsors. And you're going to go home with a really awesome bag of some really, really great stuff. Uh, thanks to our amazing sponsors. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait. We're counting down the days. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's see one more color. Topping it off with pearl blue. I can already see the colors in here. Look at that. That pearl violet really is. I wonder if I should add a little more of the pearl yellow in here on the top. Hmm. I just don't want it disappearing on me, you know? Like I can really see the violet a lot. Um, and I can see the blue, but I'm just going to do another strip of yellow. I don't, I don't know. I just, I just think I need it for some reason. So if my gut is telling me to do it, I'm going to do it. All right. Let me make sure these are all closed. I'm going to pop the bubbles. Oh, this is going to be pretty. I can already tell. Like to you, all you see is white, but I can really see the colors already. And I haven't even blown it out yet. All right, so I'm gonna start in this puddle right here and I'm gonna blow it down and then finish my way up. All right, let's get started. Okay, I love it. And I can tell you right now when this dries, this thing is going to be so... Now, this pearl violet 
is more dominant than any other of the colors of the pearls. I, I noticed that the pearl violet shows the most. You know how I say with 24 karat gold, don't put too much because it like, it could really overpower, just like the same with Holbein paints. I really feel like the pearl violet um, really, really um, pops a lot. Now there's just this one white spot. You see that? I don't like it. Um, so I'm going to try and get rid of it like so just literally dip your finger just skim it <gasps> look at the cells oh it's so pretty I don't want to touch anything I really 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 like this a lot now I'm gonna have to work on my edges okay so this um this color here as you can see is a very transparent color you see the little square there how it's not filled in black it means it's transparent, okay? So what I should have done, you don't have to, but it's better if you do. I just didn't have the time or the patience. I should have painted my edge just with a paintbrush. I just take a paintbrush, I dip it into this, and I should paint my edge blue and then let it dry, and then I should do my painting. I just honestly didn't have the time, and I really needed to get this video done um, but I'm going to have to work on my sides with my squeeze bottle. And, um, like I said, all my paints, I don't think I mentioned that earlier. All my paints are mixed with water and Floetrol. And you can find out how I do that by watching my video number 434. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who are interested in my ratios for how I mix my paints. What is that? Something that probably fell off my bottle. Yeah, a speck of white paint. All right, I'm not touching any of this. I love it just the way it is. This thing is gonna dry so perfectly, except for here. I'm really hoping that these two don't connect. Uh, I'm really hoping that it stays put. I am going to fix my edges and I'll be right back to show you guys a close up. All right, everybody. So don't forget to take your stick and scrape those drips. I've already done it. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys real quick this close up. I'm so happy with this now. Don't forget, it looks nice and blue, the background, but it will dry darker. So just keep that in mind. But this, I cannot wait to see this dry so that I can see how this is going to change in terms of color when the pearls by Amsterdam dry. I cannot wait. Look at this. This is gonna be really nice. I can't wait to see it dry. All right, let's see what it looks like with the flash on. All right, so I've got the flash on. See, and my, my whole thing with using the pearl yellow was I wanted it to act like how I would use the 24 karat gold. I didn't want to use 24 karat gold because I wanted to keep this strictly with the Arteza, uh, I keep saying Arteza, with the Amsterdam pearls. So I figured the pearl yellow would act as the gold. And sure enough, it is definitely looking gold in here, which is what I was aiming for. This is perfect because I just thought that, you see here, look at that. The gold, the blue and the purple or the violet, I mean. It just looks, it just fits. It fits really nicely in here. And this whole thing shimmers, just absolutely shimmers. I cannot wait to see this dry. But definitely the pearl yellow definitely acts like a gold. It's amazing. So there you have it, everybody. I would love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. As I mentioned, it is a 20 inch canvas. If you are interested in this piece, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com and you can purchase or inquire by email if you're interested in the octopus or the coasters I showed you earlier in the video. Again, just email me. So that is it for now. Everything you need to know is listed in the description below. I've got lots of links, lots of information, lots of discounts, lots going on. So if you are interested in any of that, look in the description below the video. So like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you like what you see. Um, that's it. Um, 
I'm really thrilled about this piece. I love it. I can't wait to see it dry. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.